what would it mean for the Georgia Bulldogs and Kirby Smart to win another title? Got over the hump last year, beat Alabama in the national championship game to bring home their first national title in however long. It was a huge deal. But as it stands right now, they've got Ohio State in the semifinal game, and then they'll play the winner of Michigan and TCU. But if they were to win another one, go back to back, what would that mean for this program? What would that mean in general? I think there's a couple of facets to it. But I want to go ahead and break this down and have this conversation with Georgia being in the position that they're in. The first thing that I'm looking at, I think for Georgia, if you win another title, it's a testament to Kirby Smart and his process and him building his program. Okay, Because the process for Kirby Smart, and this is what everybody's chasing, but he's done it the best consistently over time, elite recruiting. So getting the best players at the high school level to come to your school and be a part of what you're doing and then developing those guys, putting them in the best position to succeed. Getting a five-star on your campus and into your roster, that's a big deal. It's hard to do, but that's not where, that's not where it ends. It's not, it doesn't just, just re- translate to wins, getting five stars. Developing those five stars and getting the best out of them is where good teams become great. And then from there, next level execution and preparation. This is all simplistic to say, but I promise you, if it was as simplistic to execute as it was to say, a lot of other teams would be a lot better. Okay? So, why this is important for Kirby Smart, as a coach, your process is only as legitimate as your results. And Kirby Smart and Georgia have been a really good team for a long time now, but to move from good to elite to go from program to program, like we talk about on the show, I think another national title would just further legitimize that. Because as a coach, you're not out on the field taking snaps. You're not running the routes. When it comes time for Saturday for the games to be played, your process is all that you can lean on, all that you can trust when your players are on the field. And for Kirby Smart and his team, this would be a different group to do it. Everybody talks about the defense last year and the five first-round picks and how good they were, and that's all very well and good. A lot of teams can be great one year, and that's fine, but to do it consistently with new personnel, with a new defensive coordinator, with a new cast of characters, that, I think, you look back to the common denominator, to the process, to Kirby Smart, to what he's built, and how they've consistently now laid this base for Georgia to be a team that's in that elite, elite tier of college football. So another national title, in my mind, would further legitimize the process of the program. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, now is the time. College football playoff, it's here. Transfer portal season, turning up the heat. Feel very, very comfortable saying there will be another wave of big-time guys jumping into the portal. We got you covered here. Recruiting, year-round deal. We got you covered here as well. So make sure you're locked in. Make sure you are subscribed. We don't want you to miss anything. Huge shout out, by the way, to the thousands of Georgia Bulldog faithful that have joined us this season. We're so glad to have you. If you haven't yet joined the party, no time like the present. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at JD Pacal. It's a great medium for us to interact and do more of what you want to see on this show. I think if Georgia wins another national title, it would feel like a shift in the perception of this Georgia program. Because Georgia right now is really good. For the last five, six years, they've been really, really good. But really, really good doesn't get you historical relevance. Being elite, winning multiple national titles, then you become the archetype. Talk about Alabama. Georgia fans may not like to hear this. Alabama, people chant, we want Bama. Almost poking fun at themselves when they feel like they've done something successful. It's because Alabama has set that standard. They are the archetype for success for a lot of people for a period of time. Talk about the U in the 80s. The entire decade marked by one team. A lot of teams were playing college football in the 80s. It wasn't like Miami was just out there. But when you look back at the 80s, you think about the U. The U in the 80s is its own tagline. If you can become a headline in the, in the mind of this generation— One way you do that, obviously, is through winning national titles. But then think about how that kind of snowballs as an operation. And that's the next thing I want to get to. You could start to see the snowball effect for Georgia. 
because it goes from having to really recruit and Georgia, you know, already kind of has this going their way where they can kind of roll out there and have the G logo and people say, I want to come to Georgia. But it becomes a thing where people want to play for you. People are gravitating towards Georgia even more so than they already are right now. And folks will tell you this, a lot of high school kids would give an arm and a leg to play for Georgia. I'm telling you, it could be amplified even more so with another national title. To give you perspective, Pete Golding, defensive coordinator at Alabama, was asked, what's your recruiting pitch when you go to high schools? Like, what do you say to the kids to get them to come to Alabama? He says, hey, I coach at Alabama. That's, that's the pitch. He's, he's making a joke there, but a part of every joke is a little bit of truth. And I'm telling you, Georgia has that right now, but they could amplify that with another national title to go back to back and to say to a high schooler, hey, you want to come be part of the third? You want to come be a part of the fourth and the fifth, what we're doing here? The process ain't slowing down. The program is the program now. We're on the, we're on the verge of something special here. Okay, so that's what I think could be in store for Georgia. Now, I'm not saying if they don't win another national title, this isn't still available to them, all these things. But winning another one this year with eight new starters on defense, with a quarterback who was a walk-on and nobody wanted, heck, even George didn't want for a minute, and a new defensive coordinator, I think that would really be something that historically we'll talk about Georgia in a different light. In modern-day college football, recruits, guys in the portal, media, everybody will just view Georgia differently going forward. And I think they're truly on the verge of, of making history in a really different and special way. So you got to play the games. They still got a date with one of the best teams in the country in the Ohio State Buckeyes and the winner of whoever's going to win that dogfight between Michigan and TCU. But Georgia, going back to back, would I think rewrite a lot of the narrative around them and what they'll be for the future. This has been the Hard Count. We appreciate you locking in with us. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. Jack, Terry, Lift and Heavy, this is your show. The people show everything you know, everything you love about this beautiful sport. We got you covered here, man. Don't look anywhere else. You found it. We're going to keep the party rolling, and we will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.